Hey guys, what's going on? It's 23 here, and uh, today I have a NBA free agency recap. Um, this is what happened so far. I believe I'm going to be covering everything. Um, if, if I don't, uh, I'm just comment below on what I didn't pick up, and then I'll try to, you know, make that up. I'll put like an annotation on the screen. Um, but I even put some of the scrubs in. You know, like not. I know they're not scrubs because they're in the NBA, but I mean, um, you know, just the people that don't really play a lot. But uh. So, uh, the first thing I had is the Carlos Boozer MNSD, uh, with the Chicago Bulls. Um, he got MNSD yesterday, I believe, and, uh, that clears about 16 mil of cap space. And, uh, now we just need a team to, you know, trade him to, and there we go. And, uh, the next thing I do have for the Chicago Bulls is, uh, the Paul Gasol to the Bulls. Um, a couple days ago, uh, he posted on Twitter that he wanted to he wanted to go to the Chicago Bulls because it was his instinct, and uh, I think that's a pretty good instinct uh, to me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the next thing I do have is uh, as you guys as you guys can see in this gameplay right now, uh, Carmelo Anthony's on the Bulls with my team. Uh, this, this is a very terrible gameplay. I just need something to you know to go with the video, but. Uh, you know, I was going to make a Carmelo Anthony video the other day, and uh, the Sony Vegas was screwing up so hard, and I said forget it. And uh, so, uh, I asked people on my Facebook page about the Bulls, uh, if you guys want me to do a free agency recap video, and here I am. But uh, yeah, I run this game, uh, NBA 2K14, it fucking sucks. Um, I can't wait. To I'm going to buy NBA 2K15, but uh, until then, I'm no, this game sucks. It's the the AI and everything is look at that. It's it's not even realistic. But um anyways, back on NBA for agency recap. Um Carmelo Anthony signed with the Knicks for uh over I believe hundred twenty million dollars for fi uh five years and the fifth year is a player option. So uh that means that if he wants to we can leave New York the fifth year, but that's if he only if he wants to. Um the next thing I have is that uh the Bulls offered Bearstaw, the second round pick for the Chicago Bulls, they offered him three years of a deal. Um, I don't know if he accepted it yet. We have no idea, but that's just what I read, and that's what got reported. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I heard some rumors the other day that the Chicago Bulls wanted Dwayne Wade and uh, showed interest in him. And I, you know, who wouldn't? Man, get that out of here, boy. Um, yeah, but Dwayne Wade did sign with the, the Miami Heat for uh, two years and thirty-one point hundred twenty-five million dollars. Um, so that's you know, that's pretty good for being loyal, I guess. But if he wants to be loyal, he says that you know that he should have went to the Bulls because that is his hometown. But you know, it's whatever. You know, if, I don't. He says he's loyal. He doesn't like the city. That's that's what he says, and that's what he said in 2010. He didn't. He he never wanted to come here. I don't understand why. You know, I don't know if it's because of organization. You know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, he did sign that two-year deal with uh, the Miami Heat, and uh, he's getting paid pretty decently too, if you ask me, for his injury injured knees. You know, so uh, it's whatever, I guess. Uh, Another thing that happened to the Bulls in free agency is uh, that Kirk Heinrich got re-signed for uh, two years, six million dollars. Um, that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Kirk Heinrich is uh, very loyal, and uh, I think the Bulls just want to return that in the, in the favor. Um, so that's why they chose Kirk over uh, DJ Augustine. And uh, another thing is the, why they chose Kirk Heinrich in, in, instead of DJ Augustine because if you look at DJ Augustine and how small he is. Um, He's not going to be really good at defense. He, he really isn't. Um, but if you look at Kirk Heinrich now, he is a defensive, you know, person because he's been with the Chicago Bulls almost his whole career. Um, I mean, he has, what, I think it's like two or three years that he went to the Hawks, I believe. Other than that, he was with the Chicago Bulls the rest of the time. Um, so he knows his defensive work, you know what I mean? He's been with Thibs. He's been with a lot of other coaches. Uh, you know, he knows how to work the defensive side in the NBA. Um, so that's why I believe that the Bulls, you know, signed Kirk Heinrich. Um, what, but one thing I do not get is they signed for the same exact contract. Um, the Pistons signed D.G. Augustine for two years, $6 million also. 
Uh, I don't know if the second year is a player option, but uh, that's all I know so far is that it's two years, $6 million for uh, Kirk Henrik and DJ Augustine. I guess they're, I, I don't know, the Pistons like to steal our players. They really do. I don't know, they just really do. And they pissed me off really, really bad. <laughs> it really makes me mad that Pistons signed him. You know, like anybody could have signed him but the Pistons. You know, I would have been happy if he went to the Miami Heat. It's not the Pistons. I don't. I hate the Pistons because they just they irritate me, and they took my favorite player Ben Gordon for a, you know, just for one more mill. You know what I mean for Ben Gordon, and that made me mad too. But anyways, on to uh, the NBA recap again. Um, the Bulls signed Nikolai Maratic for uh, a three mil buyout for uh, his contract in Royal Madrid. Um, his contract is, I think it's seventeen mil for three years. Um, so that's not too bad, um, but I also heard some rumors that the Bulls wanted to get Lance Stevenson, um, but unfortunately, um, he signed with the Charlotte Hornets today for uh, three years, twenty-seven point four million dollars. Um, I think that was a pretty smart choice for the Hornets, but what I do not get is that it was almost—it's really less more money than what the Pacers signed or want, offered. It's. I think they offered him like four or five years for like forty-four mil. I think it was. Um. So I don't understand why he would go to the Hornets for that. I you know. I think the only reason that would be is because MJ was there. I'm thinking, but I don't know. That's that's it really. I mean, they the Hornets still have a lot of time to rebuild. I mean, they have some good players, but definitely not a contention for the playoffs. I mean, they can barely get past. They they can barely get in the playoffs. But uh, yeah. So. That's just what I think on Hornets. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know who this guy is, but Anthony Tolliver reaches two years, $6 million deal with the Suns. Um, good for him. Hope he plays. Um, next thing is LeBron James, of course. You know, this is obviously this. Um, he signed with the Cavs. He signed two years with a lot of money. Um, yeah, it's, I don't, I don't even understand. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not even going to comment on anything about that. Um, Dirk Nowitzki, this guy is very loyal to his Mavs. Uh, I give this guy mad respect. He uh, signed with the, the Mavs. Again, for less money, the Lakers and Rockets offered him a, uh, a max contract. And uh, not surprised he signed with the Mavs. You know, he, he uh, went out quietly. No one really talked about it, really. But, uh, yeah, I think it was a nice move by the Mavs. And I'm glad he uh, signed with the Mavs. I think that's the only team he's been on the whole his whole career. Uh, so good for him. Hope he has a really good career, uh, end of his career actually, because uh, you know he's getting kind of old. But other than that, I hope he wins another ring and everything. So yeah. Um, so another Cavs thing that went on the other day is uh, that Mike Miller signed with the Cavs. Uh, I don't know how long. I think it was two years. But uh, other than that, I, that's all I know. But you know. You know he thinks that they're gonna be another big three, and I don't. I just don't think that's gonna happen for a couple of years. Uh, I think they're gonna be winning a title soon, just not this year. I think the Bulls will be, will be in the first seed. I know I'm a Bulls fan. You guys probably think, oh, twentieth year Bulls fan. You know you're obviously gonna think they're in first place. Well, you know that that does have part of it, but uh, just look at the players and the coach and. Just, the defensive side, and we actually have offense now, and it's just going to be a really good season next season. I, I hope so, and I hope everything, you know, no injuries. You know, I just hope D. Rose stays clean, you know, with injuries. and Oh, man, just, please, man. Um, But, uh, yeah, shoot, man. If he does not stay, you know, if he, does, if he goes injured again, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be really mad. I just don't, I wouldn't know what to do. But, uh, anyways, Chandler Parsons uh, signed with the Mavs for $46 million. Uh, he was playing with the Rockets for a year. Or, I mean, for, he got a million dollars per year, I think it was, from the Rockets. And uh, they were going to sign the shoot because he was a restricted free agent. And that means that uh, if another team wants him, then they have to like, give him money. But uh, they, the Rockets have a chance to sign him, too. So they had a chance to uh, to uh, match the offer, but they 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 were going to, but they really didn't. 
and I don't understand why. I think Ch Chandler Parsons is pretty good. Um, I think we might, the Bulls might have got him if, uh, oh, that was a nice pass. Um, if, uh, if we weren't, weren't uh, worrying about Carmelo Anthony, you know, his little ass was taking so long to make his decision, and it was so annoying. See, Jim Fredette, nope, nope, no splash. Um, yeah, I wish Chandler Parsons, you know, the best luck. He's pretty cool. Uh, he's, he has a really good uh, personality, in my opinion, so, yeah, uh, good luck to him. Next thing is, uh, Paul Pierce signs with the Wizards. Um, I don't know how long they signed. I think it was th two or three years, uh, to a minimum bad deal, I believe. Um, and then also, Chris Humphrey signs a three-year deal with the Wizards. Uh, same with Paul Pierce. I don't know if I said that or not. Uh, yeah, he, they, they both signed with the Wizards, so I think they're going to have a lot of, uh, you know, Paul Pierce is going to bring a lot of, you know, mentality to the Wizards and, uh, you know, give him, give them some death and, uh, you know, give them some experience also with the little fellows coming in there, the rookies and, you know, just, uh, teaching them how to do stuff in the NBA because so the Wizards can kind of help. I, I know the Wizards beat our ass in the playoffs, but man, they had their all-star, you know, they, they had their people. They didn't have really anyone injured. You know, we did. We are, we had D-Rose injured, man. That's bullshit. But, uh, you know, I think the Bulls are going to be good this season. Um, so next we have Trevor. Oh, yeah, it's Trevor Arizia. Are I don't know how to say his name. He signed with the Rockets for um, four years, $32 million. Um, so I think the Wizards m missed out right there because Trevor's pretty good. He's a pretty, he's a really good shooter. Uh, really good. I think he went to the three-point contest, if I believe. If I believe so, I think he did. I think. Um. Yeah, so the next thing is, oh, the, the almost overrated person that I've ever seen get uh, get paid so much is Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh got, what was it? He got five-year, $118 million. Okay, so Chris Bosh, he's a really good player, really good, but he's not as good to get more than Michael Jordan. He's no, there's no way. 118 million dollars for five years like that's pretty good But I just don't understand why the Miami Heat would spend so much money on Chris Bosh. I mean I know he's a three-point shooter center and everything, but I just I just don't understand it um, I, I I would have of course wanted for if I was a Miami Heat fan or the owner of course I would want to resign Chris Bosh. I mean he's he's a really good player um, But I would never sign if I was the owner. I would never sign him for that much I mean, that's way too much. I think the only reason they did that is because the Rockets, you know, they were offering him like $90 million, I think it was. And that's still a lot for Chris Bosh. I mean, I don't think you should spend that much on the center. You know, that's $118 million. Well, how much? $118? Yeah, $118 million. And uh, Carmelo Anthony signed for almost that much. So, uh, for, I think it was, this was five years, two or four years. Um. I, I just don't get it. I don't think Chris Bosh is better than Carmelo Anthony. I'm sorry. I know he's a little bit younger, but no, I'm sorry. He's not good. As good. I mean, he's he's, he's pretty good, but I mean, he's not, you know, like a three-point. He's not like a three-point specialist center. Like, he, he's a pretty good center, but not like a three-point. Like, like uh, Reggie Miller. You know, he's not like that. If, if he was like Reggie Miller and he was a center... It got rebounds and got all that Dennis Rodden rebounds, you know. Fuck it, you know, spend them that spend that much money on him. But other than that, you know, no, I just don't get it because that's just way too much money on you know a terrible player. That's not not a terrible player, but you know, it's, you guys know what I mean. Um, I think that's it, guys. Uh, oh, and one more thing: the Rockets traded Jeremy Lin to uh, the Lakers for almost close to nothing. <laughs> it's funny because uh, they were trying to trade for Chris Bosh and you know, all these good players, and they're turning out empty. It's funny. And the, the Rockets, you know, we we're going to the free agency thinking that, you know, the Rockets were going to win free agency. Uh, they were going to, you know, sign all these good players, and the Lakers are going to get Carmelo and all this good stuff. And turns out the Bulls and the Knicks were, you know, only ones in the mix anymore. And uh, I don't know. But uh, anyways, guys, that's the end of the free agency talk, uh, the recap. 
hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, go like my facebook page and uh like the video too um if you guys like the video uh tell me why in the comments uh, i think i think i did a pretty good job recapping now if you guys want more another recap video uh just comment below or uh you know comment on my page because i have one i'll put the link down in the description uh, if you guys are from the page, uh, thank you for watching and thank you for liking the status if you guys want me to do this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, see you guys. Bye.